good morning, afternoon, or evening, just depending on what neck of the woods that you're from. Um, my name is Sheila with What's Up, y'all. And today, I'm going to be, first time, going to be canning some corn. Now, it's not a hot water bath. It's in the pressure canner. And so, I've kind of read up on that, and uh, we're going to be doing this together the first time. And did you know, this was amazing, too, when I was doing research. And it's probably easy peasy for y'all. It's like, duh, Sheila, duh. Uh, did you know you could take frozen vegetables and, uh, like, frozen corn? Like if your freezer starts going bad or something, you know, you go, what am I going to do with all this? You can free, um, not freeze, you can can that stuff. So take the frozen stuff and can it. Corn, mixed vegetables, that kind of stuff. Anyway, I just thought that was a little tidbit I want to share with y'all. And y'all probably go, I've been knowing that for years, Sheila. Well, anyway, let's get to the thing that I'm doing today. Today, I'm going to be canning <clears throat> some corn. We went down to this market and... Um, I bought uh, 24 ears. It was $5 for 24 ears of corn. I've got some white corn and I've got some mixed corn with yellow and white in it. But it's okay, corn's corn to me. But anyway, uh, what I'm having to do, let me show you first. Um, as y'all can see, the corn here, um, I've got to shuck it, husk it, shuck it. Which one is that? Anyway, I gotta take this stuff off. So I took one off, and you know, usually Mr. and I've done it in the past, and I knew what to really kind of what to expect. I was hoping not to. But uh, a lot of times you get this corn, they got a worm in it. So I just kind of ooh and kind of shook them off into the trash can. But this is my first one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and be um taking this stuff off the corn and then I'll be cutting out I'm gonna wash it and then I'll be uh, cutting out like the bad pieces so anyway let's get started I got a ways to go I've got well 23 ears now to do then I'll take it over the sink and wash wash it so let me go ahead and be getting this done kind of afraid to take this off I'll see that worm I don't want to squish them in my hand and if you know what I mean Ooh, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just got the eebie-jeebies when it comes to stuff like that. Let me move my garbage can over here. A lot of times, Mister just does it outside. I guess if you had sheep or goats or something, they would really enjoy this. Now you got to make sure that you get all this off plus all the silk off of it. I saw a thing on. Um, like Facebook or something like that, where they cut the end of it off, and uh, then they held on to the top of the uh, the silk and stuff is, and uh, that thing came right out, took out off all the silk. I tried that; it didn't work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And then we'll cut off that little that little knob right there. And uh, now I did sharpen this knife. I really did. Hey guys, I just got to show you. This is probably not going to make y'all hungry or anything or even want to do corn. But you see that right there? Look at there. Maybe can y'all see that? See that worm in there? Hmm. 
That is so gross. Look at this one. That's a huge one. You see that? I don't think it makes you want to eat corn, does it? You get them suckers out of there. Okay guys, I did get, um, I was looking to see if my lights were on. I did get all the, the corn shucked. That green stuff off of it. Anyway, um, so my next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to wash the corn really well. I want to make sure all these uh, silk pieces are off of the corn. And then of course cut out any bad places that I see. Now, over here, I've got my pressure can. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got my pressure canner. I've got about three inches of water in that, and I've just got that on low because I really don't want it boiling yet. And this blue pot that you see, I have it filled with water, and I'm uh, getting it really, really hot because once I get my corn, excuse me, into uh, the jars, I'm going to put them in pint jars, then I will fill... Uh, the jars up with the hot water. Now, with the jars, I don't have the jars in yet. Mr. <clears throat> was supposed to get me my jars and he left, but you know what? I got plenty to do and then we'll come back once he brings up my jars and I get them all cleaned and stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and start this to show you. Now I'm gonna wash the corn, like I said, really well and then put them over in the other side of the, the sink here and uh, then I've got my bowl here out, and I pray that my little knife, I used to love this little knife, and I've sharpened it really well, but I don't know, I was having digging some time with it this morning. But get your favorite sharp knife when you cut the corn off. And when you cut the corn off, you don't want to dig down deep in it, and, uh, but you, know, you want to get the kernels off for sure. Okay, now in the bottom of the jars, some people put, now remember, we're dealing with a pint size, so usually a half a teaspoon of salt. And now, the, those of you that um, don't really like a lot of salt, if you just want to put just a smidge in there, or you don't even have to put any, you know, and you can do that after um, you go and get the corn and open up the jar, then you can add your own salt at that time. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start washing these. Seemed like it was something else. Oh, now like I said, this is my first time, and what they said, what you know, is that it usually is two ears of corn, but I've got some little ears too. I mean, really little, because I had to cut off a lot because those worms were chowing down on it. But they said two ears of corn. I guess this size fills a pint jar. I don't want to put them in a quart jar because, you know, when you open them up, I don't want to have a big plate full of just corn. So, anyway, I'm going to put them in the pint jar so that'll be enough for just Mr. and I to eat when we're ready to eat them. So, uh, I put also a little bit of vinegar in my pressure canner because I don't want any mineral spots or hard spots on my jars or inside my canner. So, let me go ahead and get started with his. I'm gonna find my little brush because I don't know if some of you use it or just pick all the little silk off with your hand, but I got a little brush that I kind of brush it and it helps get those little silk pieces out of the, uh, down in those little grooves on your corn. But that's just what Sheila does. So let me go ahead and get to washing these and um, then we'll go from there.
Uh, I've got all the corn um, washed and got all the silk off. Uh, of course, I tried, you know, my little handy dandy brush, and you'll see once you wash and stuff what was in my my uh, little screen um, saver keep things from going down in the sinks. What I'm trying to say. And so now I still haven't cut off all the bad pieces. I will, but I want to show you. Of course, I got my favorite knife. And then what you want to do is that you want to cut off, not dig in like I said, but just cut all the corn off. And there is still some more little silk pieces. Doggone you, thought you were going to slide in, didn't you? And you'll be getting them out of your bowl. But let's, let me show you what, what we're going to do. It's really, really simple. I'm sitting on my stool. So I helped my son yesterday. That's another story. But and let me get to this. So here I go. And I start up here at the top. And like I said, you don't dig into it and you just start you just start cutting i need to hold it here we go i don't know if you can see that or not let's see what comes off really nice so it doesn't take long at all it's pretty just watch your fingers see that pretty easy peasy isn't it so that's just one one uh, top of corn I'm gonna look for the better corn and showing you this because those rest of them I've got to cut that mess out so let's start here can y'all see that maybe I need to put you on the other side I mean like I said this is really really easy I had one of those corn cutters look at there no, you know, you can't be in there. Those corn cutters that have a handle on each side, and you put it at the top of the corn, and you go, and it just takes them all off. Uh oh, at one time, y'all wanted that, didn't you? But anyway, let me get back to this because we've got a little bit to go. Now I don't know if it's going to fill up uh, twelve jars. Remember, I said two of these cobs of corn fills up a pint but again I have some really like little ones see that I mean I got real little ones too so anywho but that's it as far as uh, cutting your corn off so I'm going to go ahead and do these and cut out the bad pieces and then we'll be back that's it I cut um, 24 ears of corn remember I said that uh, two ears should go into a pint sized jar however I you know that's what the I think the the mixed corn has the white and the yellow on the same cob now the white corn is a, a lot smaller and I had 12 mix and I had 12 white so I'm not sure how many jars this is going to fill but we'll find out shortly. But anyway, I've gotten all the corn off the cobs. I've kind of put uh, the cobs in a box down here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I don't know if cows eat them or not. I've got some cows next door. But um, I don't know if deer eat them. We got deer all around. I just don't know. But we'll find out soon. And I bet you guys know already. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. I've gotta get my jars situated and we'll put them in the jars, put them in the uh, pressure canner, well we got to put the water in, and then put them in the pressure canner for 55 minutes. Now on my altitude and stuff, uh, it's uh, 12 pounds of pressure, but I'll show you that once we get to it. So anyway, what y'all think? Don't that look good? Mm-mm-mm. And this winter, 
Yeah, and we go out there, we want to, uh, some corn with our meal. Yummy. I would like to go back and get some more corn. I think I'll just get the mixed and can some more corn to put up. Also, I told you that uh, we picked uh, a bunch of apples. A friend of mine let us come over to her house. And I got a little bit of footage on that where uh, when we first arrived and looking at the tree, um, they're little green apples, but they're nice and sweet. So I kind of want to core those later and then put them in the dehydrator right along. And then I've got some parsley and some dill and some, I don't know what all I got to put in the dehydrator. But go ahead, let me go ahead and put this over to the side and y'all know what, what have I got? my iced tea with my straw so let me go ahead and get off of here and uh, we'll get busy with the jars and then I'll see y'all in just a few minutes now go get your tea all right guys I've got my jars and what I've done I've started I'm not sure how much uh, many pints this is going to um, to fill so I just put 10 lids in some I got the water out of here that's hot just put it in a bowl and put my 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 lids in there so right now what I'm going to do and I got a bowl of some um, some vinegar to wipe the the rims off and then once everything is um, jarred up then I'm going to pour the rest of the vinegar into the um, pressure canner like I said so there won't be any uh, hard water spots in my jars or even in um, my pressure canner so I changed my mind you don't have to but uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put in a half a teaspoon of salt in each one of them because like I said they're um, they're pint size so okay let me move this real quick so let me go ahead and do that I'll do 10 to begin I'm, I'm thinking I'll have 10 I mean, is that already right? two, four, I just lost count again, two, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Woo! I don't know what's the matter with me this morning, I did have a cup of coffee, well anyway, I got the salt in ten of them, Put that to the side and okay here we go I've got the salt half a teaspoon of salt in each one of my pint jars this is my vinegar so right now let me move this over I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up the 10 pint size that uh, I'm thinking maybe maybe um, Will be enough but I'm not sure I'm kind of spacey right now okay so I'm gonna put my funnel here now funnel listen to that funnel here <laughs> funnel here and so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my uh, my jars now you want to have one inch head space I don't know it might not take like I said the, the white corn was I don't think it's going to take that. I only take six. Okay, so here we go. So see there. Usually right here will tell you that you got a um, an inch headspace. So we've got one. Let's go fill up the rest of these. Some good stuff, I'm telling you. Got two. Y'all see that good?
Thank goodness for funnels. I'll be making a big mess. Y'all know me. I don't know. Ten might be it. I'm not sure. No, not even ten. Maybe nine. Nine is going to be it, guys. Just kind of moving some around. So possibly I can get this little bit. See how just that little bit's left. So, oh, here I go making the mess. I got eight. One, two, three, four, five. I've only got eight. Like I said, that white corn was really small. Okay. Okay guys, the next thing that I'm going to do, and I'll move you a little bit closer here, is I'm going to fill also the jars up to the one inch mark. And so we'll go ahead and, whoops, let me get my funnel again and wash it off. Because I got corn on it. Not that that would really matter, but sometimes I just got OCD. Now this is hot water, and I've got warm water in my um, pressure canner. So right there, there you go, so that's one. spatula here and I'm just going to kind of move around in the jars and kind of to let those air bubbles seep out and then you'll notice I probably have to the water line goes down so you know, letting the uh, air out so I'm going to add just a little bit more water so try to quickly do this it doesn't take long just kind of move it a little bit I think I already got those probably got this one too but let me make sure Yeah, you can see the water line going down. And that's just, you know, you don't want to do it with a regular case knife because uh, it'll scratch up your jars. So use something um, you know, kind of rubbery. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water to these. Like I said, when I let the air out, the uh, water, water line went down. We want at least one inch. It's not a whole lot in each one, but... Okay, the next thing I'm going to do 
is here is my vinegar and I'm going to dip my paper towel in that and I want to clean this off because of the salt and because of um, the corn. I don't want anything and I'm going to go ahead and do them all. I just make a couple of circles around each one. Okie dokie, so there that is. Now, I've got, I know that that water is hot. Um, I think I put too many in there, which I dread that. I hate that I did that. But when you get it with your little magnet thing, make sure it's not two of them stuck together. So I'm going to stick this on here. And you just want to make it finger tight. That's it. And I'm going to go ahead. You can use your little, um, oh, you can't see that, can you? I'm so sorry. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stick it down into the warm water. Remember, I put three inches of water in my pressure canner. And then my jars are hot because of the hot water. You don't want to put cold into um, pot or hot jars into cold water. center it on the eye. I thought I was going to have a lot more, but that's okay. Now, remember the uh, vinegar that uh, after I've cleaned all the lids and everything off, I'm going to go ahead and pour that like, like that into my pressure canner. Then I'm going to put, if I can find it, put the lid on. Oh my goodness, let me rinse this off. Okay, all right. So I'm going to put my lid on. Y'all didn't think I was going to do that, did you? Because I have so many problems putting lids on. But this is a new one, so I can see the arrows on it. I'm going to turn around so I can see the gauge. Okay. Now, guys, let me bring you over here. What I'm going to do next is. I've got this on high now, and I want to make sure this little nipple comes up, and then you'll start seeing steam coming out of this little uh, little nozzle thing right here. I'm not going to put my regulator on it yet um, until this gets to going really heavily, and you'll see it. Once it starts doing that, it's removing all the air and everything out of uh, the pressure canner. And once it starts steaming really good, then I'm going to set my timer on 10 minutes. Um, again, that's to get all the air and stuff out of your pressure canner. So right now, I'm going to keep my eye on that. And um, then we'll come back and get this corner going. All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I was trying to think of something I could put there, possibly you could see it. I don't know if you can or not. Can y'all see that now? Anyway, it's coming out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is set my timer on 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, then I'll come back and put the little regulator on. So let me go ahead and set my timer. Number 10 minutes. I'll start. Okay, when the little buzzer buzzes on the stove, on the um, the timer, then I will be back and then we'll start our process. Okay guys, my timer went off and so now I'm getting ready to put the regulator on. Make sure you come up from behind it, not go, well I guess you go that way. I like to come up from behind it, that's me. Don't listen to what I say, do what you do, just be safe. So, I'm going to stick it 
stick that on there. Now, the pressure's on zero, because, you know, with the little spout, it's been letting out all the pressure. So now, I'm gonna watch the gauge, and um, again, for my altitude, it's 12 pounds of pressure. So you do, need to look at your um, canning, um, like the ball, ball book, canning book, and see how many pounds of pressure it is for your altitude. So um, this will start raising up the gauge. Now, because mine is 12, I don't want to go way over it. If it stays below, you better start all over again. So once I get it up to 10, 12 pounds of pressure, then I'm gonna put my timer on and keep watching the gauge because I'll have to turn down my heat, keep watching the gauge, and then I'm going to let it pressure can for 55 minutes. So, you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, it's rising, it's about two pounds now. So I got just a little bit to go. I've got it on high and I will turn it down once it reaches my uh, 12 pounds of pressure and keep my eye on it because we don't want to come way over here in the caution. Woo! So anyway, I'll be back once it reaches that and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, <clears throat> it's almost, it's at 11 pounds. I've got one little more notch to go, the 12 pounds, and we're almost there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, oven down. Hopefully, I always have to play with it because you got to find that sweet spot. So it's... Kind of right there at 12 now for me in my altitude so I just turned it down it went from high down to put it on four I found in the past when I do that it's usually between three and two somewhere in there once it gets the uh, pressure but yeah it's right at 12 now I got it turned down to four I'm gonna come back and look at it now that it's at uh, 12 pounds of pressure I'm gonna put my timer on because I got a I've got to pressure cook it for 55 minutes. So let me go ahead and do that timer. <coughs> 55. And it's staying so far at 12 pounds. Got the timer on for 55 minutes. And once that's done, I'll be back. And we can look at the jars, see how pretty they are. Hey guys, my timer just went off for 55 minutes. Uh, I, I just turned um, the oven or stove off and so now what you want to do is that we just want to let it sit here as I've turned the up uh, uh, I keep saying edit when I've turned the stove off and just let it sit here until the pressure goes all the way to zero you'll see this little nipple right here will go down at that point then you can take off your regulator but you can, then you got to be careful when you open it up you turn the lid away from you so the steam won't you know, be coming all up in your face. And then you can get your jars out and start waiting for them to ping. So I just turned everything off. I turned the timer off because it was buzzing. And I just turned the uh, stove off. And now um, I'm just going to wait until my gauge gets down to zero. And then we'll get that corn out and see how pretty it is. And then we've got to do another project. I either start on the apples or I'm going to put my parsley and I can't remember all we got. I just can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to put that in the dehydrator. And uh, so I still got things to do. But anywho, I'll see y'all when this is ready to, the jars are ready to take out. See you again in a minute. Okay guys, took them out of the pressure cooker. They are still bubbling. I don't know if you can see that or not, that it's still bubbling. It is hot. Some of them already started pinging, so it's sealing. But I only got eight pints out of the uh, 24 ears of corn. Remember, uh, 12 of them were the little itty bitty white corn. And then the other 12 was a mixture of white and um, the yellow corn on the same cob so I only got eight pints 
Uh, normally they say two ears of corn will fill one pint um, jar. So I'll probably be going and getting some more. I really like to have some more um, corn on hand. But this is them, guys. This is them. Okay, had a busy morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. And I wanna thank y'all for watching, as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all my subscribers and the new ones as well. And the comments that I'm getting, you know I love them comments. But anyway, I wanna get off of here. Uh, Mr. went and got something to eat for, I was looking to see if that was him driving up. He went to go get something to eat down at the little itty bitty 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 city. And uh, so I could finish the corn. So I think I'm going to go over there and rest my bones and sit down for just a little bit. And um, I'm not sure what the rest of the day holds for me. I did say that I want to do some, did y'all hear that ping? I want to do some uh, hydrating. So after I rest, maybe I'll go ahead and get started on that because it really needs to be done. But remember that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. And you're blessed in the city, you're blessed in the field. You're blessed when you come, and you're blessed when you go, in Jesus' name. Love you guys. Until the next video. Bye, y'all.